Hello everybody, and welcome to Demon Souls. Uh, this is the first game, at least that I'm aware of, that was made by the infamous From Software. It's the first Souls game. Uh, not as popular as Dark Souls, but I've played Dark Souls 1 and 2, so I wanted to play Demon Souls as well. Stop going into the cutscene, I wanna... <laughs> You know, I'll let it go in the cutscene next time. Uh, but I wanted to play it before I got into it, because I want to play all of the Soulsborne games eventually. I've only played one and two, so I still have to do Demon Souls, I have to do Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. So that's, that's a lot of dying that I've got in my future. That's fine, though. We'll <laughs> One at a time. We'll start with Demon Souls. Uh, getting this game to work was a pain in the butt. I gotta tell you. like a Dark Souls game. Well, would it be? The body behind him is glowing white. Ah! Giant skeleton man. Looks like I'm being joined by the souls of the fallen. Well, I'm gonna need some more souls. <laughs> and there you have it. Okay. But let me explain just really briefly what what I had to deal with in order to get this game to work. I I have this game for the PS3. So I bought it on the PS3 and I have a capture card. So I assumed that I would be able to just plug my capture card into the PS3, just like I've done with the PS4 and with the Xbox One so far, without any problems. But every time, and I would, I'd would i be able to see the main menu just fine, but every time I started the game, the capture card just stopped working. And I thought that was very weird. Now there's a reason for it. Uh, the HDMI signal from the PS3 when a game is started has an encryption placed on it called HDCP, which stands for something high definition content protection or high something content protection. It's a copyright protection thing that stops the PS3 from being viewed on a device that isn't approved, basically. And my capture card is not approved, so my capture card can't can't decrypt what is being sent by the PS3, and that caused it to stop working. And so then I'm like, okay, well, how do we how do we get around this? Uh, so I bought this device online that was advertised as supposed to be able to help me bypass the HDCP, and I got it in the mail at the beginning of the week, and I'm like, okay, cool. And we tested it last night, and it did not work. The HDCP protection was still there. Uh, so then I was ready to, to like try and get a, a like a new one and then in the back of my mind I had a, a quick revelation, an idea of how I'd be able to get this game to work. Uh, when I was in college 
I had a TV with only so many HD. I think I had two HDMI ports. One of them was dedicated to my computer. The other one had to be the one console I had. Well, I had both an Xbox One and an Xbox 360. And in order to avoid having to change out the HDMIs all the time, I found out that it's possible to use the Xbox One to has an HDMI in port to be able to use that to view other consoles. Uh, and so I realized that I might be able to do that with the PS3. So I have my PS3, which is what I'm playing the game on right here, uh, going being displayed through my Xbox One right here. <laughs> Uh, then finally going through the capture card into my computer, and that is why we are able to finally fucking see it. Uh, there is a risk that my doing this uh, will introduce a little bit of a delay. And Demon's Souls isn't really a game where I want to be playing with the delay, but it seems the delay seems minor right now. I think I can I think I can deal with it for now, but I haven't gone in the game to see exactly how bad it is. So. We're going to get into this. We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to do our best. We are going to try and win Demon Souls on the Xbox, I guess. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's go. Yeah, I don't even know if that server is even online anymore. Is it? I don't know. Probably. My guess would be no. Please enter a name. Oh, oh no. It's like my old phone. OK, uh, what are we going to name this? First of all, do I want a man or a woman? I was going to like randomly like keep flipping it and just let it stop on one. Uh, we're gonna go with what's the last game I played? We're gonna go with a. I think I used a female in Dark Souls two, so we're gonna stay with a male for Dark Souls one, or er, er, for Demon Souls. And your name? I was gonna go grab my keyboard to try and make this any faster. Okay. Your name is going to be... We're gonna name you Preston. Oh, how do I go back? There you go, your name's Preston. Nice to meet you, Preston. Knight, Hunter, Priest, Magician, Wanderer, Barbarian, Thief, Temple Knight, Royalty, or Soldier. Okay, I imagine in every Dark Souls game, I've always been heavy, like heavy weapon. Twelve and fourteen. So I'm looking at strength and dexterity mostly. Twelve and fourteen seems to be one of the best ones I've seen. The Temple Knights. Oh, you know, we're gonna be a temple knight. All right, we're gonna make my character look look fancy. Oh, I'm covering it up. I'm covering up what he looks like. Well, this sucks. Okay, uh, how do I how do I do this? I am covering up his face. Let's move me then just a little bit. Let's go to like. Can I go like here? How about that? Is that better? Okay. And I just went back to my computer because I'm I defaulted. Okay. Select an origin. Uh north, south. Okay, this one I can go be random. Actually, no, we can just hit random. There really isn't that much variety here, is there? Let's see, Preston. Which one of you looks like a Preston? You look like a Preston. You look like a complete baby face. Can we like make this even worse? I can't really tell the difference that much. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with you. Uh, we've already. We're adjusting our, I guess, gender. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it looks like a like a porcelain doll. That's horrifying. <laughs> Okay, which haircut makes this even worse? <laughs> oh 
know. I think I was bald the last time, though. We'll give, you, we'll give you a little bit of peach fuzz, okay? We'll give you a little bit of peach fuzz. Oh no, this is horrifying. Details. God, okay, no, I don't, I'm not, not doing this. Is there anything I can change? Custom hair color? Oh, I can make a custom hair color. Okay, we're gonna go with, I want like bright yellow. Which, what is yellow is? Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> this is one of the worst things I've seen in my life. Understood. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we're I think we're done editing your appearance there, Preston. <laughs> oh, that's nightmare nightmare feel, okay. <laughs> Oh no, the demons are just going to be terrified. Wealth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Plot twist, I'm gonna enslave the demons. New plan. Yeah, you, you kind of you kind of look like Preston. Not gonna lie. You you got you got a little bit of the roundness of the face. Is that me? Do I get to do I get to start with a halberd? Brave soul who fears not death. Oh, I'm familiar with death. Don't you worry. I shall guide you.
so that you may lull the old one back to slumber. We're here. Okay, the delay seems manageable. Definitely seems manageable. We're in the tutorial. Read message. Standard attack. Hiya! That. Okay. I can lock on. I can shield. I have fat rolling, which is should be no surprise to anybody. Okay, I do not like the way that you are, like, swinging this. I do not like the way that you're swinging this thing. I'm gonna, gonna be honest with you. Direction and hold to sprint. Woo! Zoom! L1 to guard. I can't see anything. Can I parry? Doesn't seem like it. I can only I can only shield dance, which I will I will take full advantage of. Okay, target lock. I already learned this one. Can I heavy swing? Yes, I can. I'm not okay there's a ghost going around but it's weird because I know I'm in offline mode okay can't go through there oh I did not see you good thing you did like no damage to me can I not backstab you is that not a thing that they added I break these. I can. Oh, I can probably roll into them too. I forgot I'm fat rolling. Examine remains. Crescent moon grass. I, is that what I, is that like my Estus? There are going to be lots of comparisons to Dark Souls, obviously. Press X to use item. Okay, why do I want to use item? What does, what does this item do? Recover a small amount of user's HP. Okay. I got more. Seems like this is going to be the healing. Am I supposed to drop down here? Yeah, okay. Back step and roll. Well, we know how the rolling goes for me. Any others? Yeah, okay. Oh, you blocked it. I'm actually impressed. Ow. Okay, can I not, like, jump attack? I cannot. I can only, like, shove. Okay, what do we got here? Touch the arc stone. The arch stone. Warp to a new area. No? Not ready to warp to a new area. So is this not like an open world like Dark Souls is? Is this like a level where you have to run to the end of the level? Like you have to get to the end of the level? Is that how this works? I can, I can fuck with that. 
I think that would be pretty cool. All right, let's let's warp to the new area. Saint Urbane. I'm assuming those names that she listed off in the intro are going to be like the bosses, yeah? 